Welcome to Quarantine Basement. I'm Bob Brooks, and today I want to talk about how to make money online for any business and keeping it simple, simplified. But before I get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell down below. Okay, so you need three things to build a business online. You need a sales funnel, you need an autoresponder, and you need traffic. And we're going to talk about these three things. But before I get started, I want to tell you the big mistake people make. They join an opportunity, and the opportunity says they have affiliate links that they can use to promote. They don't do their own funnel. They go get these affiliate links, and they promote those. Big mistake because you're not building your business. You're a commercial for their business. You're branding their business. You're building their business because someone sees the name of their business. Say it's Million Dollar Matrix, one of the ones I promote. Say they see that in the title of the capture page. They're going to go to Google or YouTube and look for a review on it, and they're going to find me and you're going to lose them. So you want your own funnel. That's why a funnel is so important and the first step in the process. A funnel is made up of two to three or four pages, and I'm going to go through my funnel, which is a three-page funnel, which has a capture page. This is a place where they put their name and email, and the name and email go on my list, and then they're taken to my second page, which is a bridge page, which is just a video of me saying you made a great decision. Congratulations. You're going to be glad you're here. They get to know, like, and trust me. Then they go to my third page, which is my own sales page, where I give an overview of the opportunity, the product, and then I give them the opportunity to join from there. Those are the three pages I use. Some people skip the bridge page, and they just go from a capture page to the sales page. I like the bridge page. The more I can brand my business and people get to know, like, and trust me, the more they know I'm a real person, the more they know I'm here to help, the better likelihood we're going to connect and do business together. So let's go through my funnel, and then we'll talk about the autoresponder. Here's my capture page. Just a simple headline, gets people excited, doesn't give a whole lot away, tells them there's some neat things, some of the things I like about it, the copyrighted pay plan, a system that you don't have to sponsor to make money. It does help if you do, but you don't have to. It gets them excited. They want to give their name. They want to give their email. I collect phone numbers. The program I use lets me know when they're on my page. If they put their phone number in here, and I can text them right away. So when they fill this out, this information goes to my list, that autoresponder, which we're going to talk about. And then from there, they have to go somewhere when they hit this button down here. Their information goes to my list, and they go to my bridge page. And my bridge page is right here. Welcome, congratulations. This is a video of me. Hello and congratulations on making it this far. Well, you're a so they made a wise decision. I'm glad they're here. Now they can continue on and go to my sales page. So let me show you my again. This page is more about getting them to know, like, and trust me. It's about branding my business. If you were to use a share code of mine and you use my funnel, I would want you to put your own video here and say, "Hey, I am so and so. Uh, this funnel we're using." was made by Bob, he, it's a great business, but you would want to brand yourself here and put your own video here. So from here, they're gonna hit continue and they go to my sales page. This is my sales page for Million Dollar Matrix. I give them an overview of Million Dollar Matrix. I talk about the compensation plan right here, and then I give them a bonus, some free training down here. This is my funnel so they can go ahead and join the team right here. This will take them to the company sales page. This will take them to my bonus. And then I have where they can connect with me, call me. I've got the funnel codes for this, uh, or the share codes for this funnel. It's all here on my sales page. I have not had the company page up yet. This has all been branding me. This is why you need a sales funnel. Let's talk about the autoresponder. The autoresponder will go in my back office. I use Conversion Pros for all my capture pages. I use it for my autoresponder. This is also where I get my, I'm able to text them and do all sorts of things with this. But let's go to my autoresponder. You can see I've got a lot of different campaigns going here in the back office. Uh, I just started using Conversion Pros recently and I really like them. But you can see the contacts I have on my list. For this opt-in page, I've got 271. I've got 135 on this one. These other ones I'm still in the process of building. You can see the number of emails I have in the series. Uh, I can have anywhere from three to about two weeks where they're going to get a message every day. So when they opted in, they got onto my autoresponder. All these people opted into that capture page. They now get a message from me every day. These people got it for four. These people got it for 13 days. 
The neat part about these campaigns is I can send out a broadcast to the entire list. So just because I have these messages here, once they're over, doesn't mean I'm done communicating. On a daily basis, maybe a weekly basis, I can go out here and broadcast to them, send a message to the entire list, give them some value, give them something of interest that they want, and they're gonna be active subscribers on my list. And from these people, when they purchase, I have a place where I can put them onto a buyer's list. People that have actually purchased from me, people that are clients of mine now, people I wanna be really, really in touch with and work with because they're working with me. And that's my buyer's list, and that's a private list that, that I can keep for myself. But the list, this is an asset to your business. This is a real asset to your business. If you switch businesses or you switch something or add a product, you have people you can market to immediately. You, it's not something you have to go out and purchase again. We purchase traffic to send to our page to put them on this list so we can market to them. And then eventually we stop buying traffic because our list gets big enough where it's generating itself. There are ways we're gonna talk about traffic to build your list for free and we're gonna go there next. But the, building the list and the autoresponder is so huge that capture page, they have to go on a list so you can continue to connect with them and grow that relationship. That's why you build a list. Do not build a list in your opportunity back office because if it goes away, you lose the list. You want to buy something, a Weber, get response, conversion pros. I like conversion pros because I can build my pages and my list all in the same place. And it's just a great system here where I can do everything. And I, it's $50 a month. I love this thing. Um, I'm shutting down my AWeber and moving everything over here. I like it. it. I don't need to do all the connecting my autoresponder to my capture page. It does it automatically here. It's a, just a simple system to use. But you need to have the autoresponder. Then the third thing I said you need is traffic. There's a lot of different ways to get traffic. You want to put traffic into the funnel. The funnel, the whole idea of the funnel is you put a bunch of traffic into the top of the funnel, the capture page, and they go through that funnel and work their way out to either become a lead or a conversion, and they're on your list, or they even purchase from you. But the funnel funnels it down. They go to the capture page, they get some information. If they like it, they go further and further and further until they're coming out the bottom as a lead or even a conversion. And these leads turn into conversions down the road. So you wanna drive traffic. So how do we drive traffic? There's different ways. The best traffic is organic traffic that knows you. And YouTube provides me a lot of traffic because people watch my videos and then they want more information. They start connecting with me and they call me, we talk, we work together. If we have something that works together, we work together. So YouTube is organic traffic. It's the best lead I can get because we know each other quickly. Facebook is another way. There's a lot of pitching on Facebook, but if you do it right, you can connect with people, work with people, make friends on Facebook. I have friends on Facebook that I'm working with and you can build your audience. That's the key word, build your audience on YouTube, Facebook. You can do it on Pinterest, Instagram. All those platforms of social media are a way to build your audience and generate leads for your business. I have training on that down below. You can get my ebook, uh, Mr. Bob's Coaching. It's an ebook will teach you how to build an audience. That's the best way to build an audience. It takes time and people like to go faster. So then there's paid traffic. You can pay for traffic, clicks to be put to your site where people will go look at your site. There'll be opportunity type seeking people. They'll opt in, it'll build your list quick. There's good vendors out there. I have a link down below for my favorite guy. Uh, when I started out, I did a lot of paid traffic. As I built my YouTube and Facebook contacts, I can lessen my paid advertising because I have more organic traffic, but paid traffic gets you started. It's going to be one of those things where you'll make a few sales from it, but you're building your list. The sales might not meet what you're spending, but it's a long-term game if you're building a business. It's investing in your business. Every business invests in advertising, and sometimes you don't make as much of the advertising that you spent. But if you work it and you keep scaling your business, eventually you're making more. If you want free traffic, there's things like safe list, traffic exchanges. There's other places to get free traffic that require some work. Uh, I have a link down there below to teach you all this stuff, how to do it. But the goal is to drive traffic. You can do free traffic, pay traffic. Uh, you can build it off of any platform that allows you to build an audience. And that's where the traffic comes from. If you do those, you're building a business. The last step would be to follow up with the people on this list. A lot of people just let these email series run and never contact them. I tell my team, contact them. 
get a personal email to them. If you collect that phone number, text them. See if they're interested. Ask them a question. You'll have much better conversion if you reach out to people and make the person-to-person -person contact that's lacking in the industry. So that's what I got today. Those are the easy, That's the easiest way to build your business. Have a funnel. Send any leads to an autoresponder and have traffic go to that funnel. If you need a funnel, I have my link down there below. You can use the share codes. I would recommend do your own video for the bridge page. I know some people are afraid of the camera. That's okay. You can still use mine. But down the road, be planning on switching to your whole own funnel with your own videos. It works much better when it's you presenting your business than me presenting your business. So that's what I got for today. Have a great Monday. We'll talk to you later.